Welcome back, everyone, to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Barakzai Empire Lover, or potential Ottoman Mughal Empire Lover. And right now, we're wrapping up our war with Iran. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. 30,000 casualties, not bad. We've delivered 100,000, pretty much. We're all green. We're missing a lot of artillery still, but welcome to Kaiser Redux. Um, after this, we're going to go to war with the Dominion of Delhi because they have, the Anton has, decided to go to war, I think, with Third International at this point. Or at least the Cairo Axis, right? Yeah. Oh, no, they did go to war with the Third International, so. Uh, but yeah, other than that, we're doing quite well. We're trying to finish up Modern Warfare, which is a great game. Like, what, 2009? I remember that one on Christmas Day. Ah, oh, God, I'm old. Anyways, so, we're doing alright. Uh, we're not winning everywhere, but, well, Lisbon, oh boy. The red's gonna be very, very, like I said, a red world. It's almost like a mod or something. Um, it's gonna be terrible to have. Keep working on our artillery. I wouldn't mind maybe a little bit of anti air potentially. Uh, but now we have four research slots, which is very, very nice. Oh. Ah. Ottoman officials who are so loyal to the Sultanate have found their way to Afghanistan after the fall of the Ottoman Empire. Interesting. These displaced soldiers, officers, and administrators are loyal to the Osman uh, Fuad Effendi, the warrior prince, who has refused to give up any claims to the Sultanate despite Abdul Masid's abdication, like his read last time. Honoring our ancient traditions of Pashtun Wali, we'll welcome our fellow brothers of our faith to our, our mountain home. Those civics would be nice. Ooh, better cost for... Uh, am I done with land auction already? Ooh, it looks like we are, so let's go get the other one then. Provide refuge for the Ottoman industry. Many prominent Ottoman industrialists have fled the chaos that has engulfed their homeland. We'll provide these exiled entrepreneurs refuge here in Afghanistan, providing them protection from the ravenous bandits and invading armies. With the vast natural resources and their expertise, we'll bring economic prosperity to the Afghan nation. Another research slot? Oh, I think so. So hopefully we can finish these guys off. We're not winning everywhere, but we're winning in quite a few locations, which is always quite good. Do we have anything else here we could do? Burma is gone. Yeah, they just have taken too many casualties, and we've been slowly just moving, maneuvering our way through Iran uh, to get these guys done, because I do want to go to war pretty quickly if we can. I might recommend we come up here. That's why you can cut off two divisions and circle and destroy them. There we go. Tehran is now a frontline city. Thank you, thank you. That goes good old Morocco. And we're still building up... Oh, we're building up a lot of railroads and whatnot to make sure that we have supply. I took a little bit of a break from attacking because, well, as you can see, supply isn't super great around here. Oh, God. Um. Oh, what we have? Iran. Collapse of the Iranian or Empire. Well, we can't get all of Iran, but we'll take whatever we can. What if we give up all this? So then we can take all this. Hmm. I don't think that'll work like that. But it could. Ooh. No, we need this one over here. Oh, I'm going to be dastardly to these guys. I'd like all the Iranian territory, please. Oh, I am so mean to the AI. And we actually get a navy. Look at that. Oh, that's looking pretty nice, I'd have to say. Wouldn't you? And we got more fuel, too. So we probably don't go to war with the Iraq yet. Transcaucasia, Russian Republic. Uh, Yeah, uh, Turkish commune. Well, yeah, that happened. Um, this is in the Cairo Axis to find the Entente, which is great. Now we're going to come over here and see what we can do about these guys. Infantry divisions, cavalry divisions, mountaineer divisions, um, occupied territories, over civilian oversight, that's fine. You guys are on tribal cavalry. Um, cost per manpower, that's a lot more cost per manpower. It costs less overall. But I don't want to use all the extra manpower for now. Yeah, we're missing a lot of infantry equipment and artillery. Well, time to get some. Let's see. Infantry equipment. I would prefer the artillery if we have any to buy. Toad artillery. That's fine. <clears throat> Fall of Gibraltar. Because these guys are. Are they fighting each other? I know Baratia Commune is fighting somebody here. Oh, that's a order. No, maybe not. So with you guys hopefully distracted, we 
go in and just sweep in. Ah, good. Look at these guys. We have an Admiral, Mahmoud Aziz. Welcome aboard. Spanish Civil War is over. The Reds won. Or, Common France really won with Galicia. Huh. Another cup of coffee here, too, to give it a nice morning. Or, refresh. Ooh. Ah, oh, Ottomans. The salvation of Millet. Uh, Mekdepleri. Some of the finest universities in the Islamic world are located within the lands of the sublime port. The fall of the empire. <coughs> the centuries worth of knowledge are threatened by the chaos brought upon by the Egyptians in their axis. You must recover these treasures of the past, as well as granting these exiled scholars refuge in Kabul. Oh, absolutely. I have a feeling we're not going to do really well against the uh, Entente. Just because, uh, well, it's the Entente. But I want to get some more artillery for the state of Persia. After a long fight of the Persians, we would launch a full offensive and force the Persian army to surrender. Tehran is now in our hands. Um, liberate Persia? No. No. I don't think so. So what are you on the Arctic? Infantry equipment is looking better. Trucks are looking okay. That's fine. Uh, you can move to the bottom. You're almost done anyways. Did Kuzistan? Kurdistan. Well, that's dumb. Decided its fate. Did Kurdistan? Our army is taking control of the northern part of the Levant and local Kurdish populations clamoring for self government. What should we decide to be done with the region? Ah! Now that's what we like to see. I'm not sure we're really ready to go to war right now. We could be. Recon camera, light torpedo mountings, cannons. <sighs> Heavy bomb locks. All this stuff would be important to do too. Let him really get engaged. Oh, you know what? We're just going to do this anyways because it takes a couple days to do this. Yeah. We're going to save. So, how are we on artillery? It's looking better already. It's great. Oops. Improved smaller. We do have two things of fighters, which is not bad. The range sucks, but whatever. Um, Artie. Well, I've got nothing else for army XP, so it's fine with me. I do want subs, though. KDP wins election results. Social liberals, okay. Seems pretty divided. You got syndicalists, social democrats, and national populists, and a few social liberals. Who just won the party? Wow, okay. Whatever. The army's arrival. For hundreds of years, the Ottoman army was the most feared force in all of Europe and near the Near East, even in its twilight years. It took a combined force of all the sublime port's enemies to overwhelm the armed forces. Those within the Ottoman army who are still loyal to the rightful sultan have finally arrived in Afghanistan. With their expertise, the royal Afghan army will reach new heights. Absolutely. Yeah, we can do that one, but still. Five research slots. I honestly did not think I'd get five research slots here. So we're going to start working on the Afghan nuclear program. Um, so we're going to go in. These guys don't look super strong, but I could be wrong. They have engineers and anti-tank. Thank God we have no tanks then. Um, oh, Prince of Federations pushing back. We like to see that. We've got quite a bit of calves. So hopefully we use them appropriately. This should Kurdish state. Uh, we could give it to Iraq. Kuzistan? No. How dare you even suggest that? Darn it, that was us. There we go. You just need one for that. Um, capture Ahmadad, Ahmabad, whatever it is. That's fine. Um. 
I want deli. Oh, well, maybe not yet. <laughs> uh, no. For the reds? Yes. Oh, and you know what? We have a sack or two. Just come slamming straight into them. After them, I'm going to take out the Barty Commune and then the Prince of Federation and everyone down south. Well, maybe we'll see what happens. Here, just wrap them up here. Boop, 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 boop. Well, what do you have here? Slovak? Yes, 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 that's fine. Uh, Transylvania? Yes. Uh, uh, sure. What is this? No. Yes, no. Yes, 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 no. Uh, yes, no, yes, no. Oh no, they can't respond fast enough. Oh no, who could have ever seen this one coming? Oh no, it's almost like I planned this. I know I was just taking forever trying to go to war, but you need to go to war when you really need to go to war in time. Oh no. Nine divisions, wow, we're trying to beat up nine. Oh, we found most of the forces now. Sure. Uh, sure. Look at those military factories we've got now. Uh, guns and artillery. We're doing better on artillery now. So we're gonna go two here. Go three. Go two. Ah, five research slots. We love it. Just build faster, please. Thank you. Come again. I'd say we can circle them at the Republic of Nepal, but we can't. We might be able to make an encirclement here, maybe. We'll cut them off at the very least. Um. You read convoys here, maybe? Be low priority. I don't want to lose you yet, because we can still use it for, you for Army XP. Or Air. Naval XP. Austria. Get our Admiral some experience. Hey, we're doing, we're doing very well overall. I'm very surprised how well we're doing. And our Navy is successful. Look at that. We sent some convoys. Um, the Kyber gunsmiths have been refining their skills for years since the announcement of our Army reforms. With proper equipment and material, as well as legacy of craftsmanship and attention to detail, they can be comparable to the weapons manufacturers in America and Europe. We should finally create new, authentically Afghan rifles. Oh, fighting over the river really sucks. Thank God there wasn't much there. The second Modest Revolt. Oh, well, good for the year. Oh! So the thermal combos, look at that. Anyone get injured? No? Go home. Ah, another division. Lovely. Come on, can we take Bombay? That would be bombastic. Mountaineers, Rangers. Cold? No, not so much cold. Toad anti-air is very good as well. And you know what? Let's get some rocket artillery too. I think that would be delightful. <gasps> Delhi's gone. Can we peace out with uh, Canada with, for that? Hope so. There you go. Oh no, the Anton divisions are all gonna die here. Who could have seen that one coming? We did. So, can we check the Prince of Federation? Oh, fighting Muscat too, huh? The Raj and the Ramparts. Our brave soldiers have put the mongrel dogs of the Empire to rout. And with the remnants of the Anglo military staff sailing away from the subcontinent, we stand before a golden opportunity. Well, the total destruction, occupation, of what was the Dominion of India, or the British Raj, as most people know it, our government can put some considerable pressure onto the Entente to sign a agnimonious peace treaty. As a result, they relinquish hold over India and agree for the temporary occupation to be fully incorporated into our administrative zones. Well, that would make the most obvious solution to the current conflict. Some within our ranks are saying that Delhi has never been only our goal, and the entire Entente must crumble before us. No matter the choice, that will surely affect the global balance of power. Come, Ambassador, to come and bring the treaty. Oh, we should hunt them beyond India itself. We annex the Dominion of Delhi. Yes, please. Oh, that means... Oh, we should have pieced these guys out independently. Well, I don't think that was possible. Nice. Great job, Navy. You're Iranian, but you still did a great job. Train. Or kill yourself. Look at that. Fantastic. Now, these guys are killing each other here still. I don't care about that too much. Um, the Bharatiya Commune, on the other hand... This is a bigger question. They could join the Third International, potentially. Oh, they're fighting Madras. Hmm. Did they please tell them that they made their own faction? No, they did not. That's 
not good for us. Um, United Hindustan, at the very least. British lapdogs, Bengali radicals, rogue princes, all now bow to the great Shah Nin Shah e Hindustan. With the conquest of all of Hindustan, we've done what the Mughals couldn't even dream of. Now we're declared an empire. May it last a thousand years. Ah. A new Mughal empire with the capture of Delhi. The celebrations throughout the streets of Kabul are met with chaos and riots across India. Our forces are hounded by rebels and princely levies, which see as nothing is more than invading bandits from the West. In order to create a sense of identity among our new Muslim subjects, members of the royal court have suggested <coughs> um, that, that Emir and Nasrullah should proclaim our new empire to be continuation of the great Mughals. More level the chiefs, however, believe that our recently conquered territories have already stretched our empire thin. They have suggested that we should establish a client state under the Ma Ma Muhammad Qahir and Din Mirza, a living descendant of the Mughal dynasty. With these considerations, the Emir must choose. Should we claim the mantle of the Mughals ourselves or establish a client state under the current heir? We have nothing to fear. <coughs> okay, of course. Ooh. Let the Indians have their time be under the Mughal heir. Provisional government of India. Uh, we rise as true heirs of the Mughals. You still get the same thing here, but we can change your name to the Mughal Empire. That's our original goal. Hey, we're the Mughal Empire. Look at that. You know what? Mm. If we go to war with these guys, we won't get everything we want. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to go over with these guys anyways first. We change your flag. Look at that. Beautiful. Good job, Nasrullah Khan. Great job. What? Why are they cancel material support? Oh, there goes the Kingdom of France. That was really short lived. But expected. Oh. Boop. <laughs> Eight. Wow. Hmm. What are we lacking here? Look at that manpower. Holy crap. Uh, planes? Yes. Go up to three here, too. Oh, we only need more steel. You know what? I'm going to export that up to us without oh, well, steel so far, which is good. We can use a little more rubber. Um, the Ottoman army asked for Ottoman positions. Oh, God, yes. Look at all this we can build now. Surprisingly, the remnants of the Ottoman army have also arrived in Afghanistan after a long journey through Iran from the positions in the Middle East. Well, yeah. Despite facing challenges like an initial uh, vanguard of the Cairo Axis, uh, Beodin ambushes and Iranian patrols have successfully reached Kabul and established a garrison on its outposts. Uh, while the presence has helped reduce banditry in the surrounding villages, it has also led to an increase in begging and loitering. Uh, Ottoman officers from this group have approached the Emir, expressing their interest in serving in his forces and offering to enlist their troops into the Afghan army as well. Don't you just lose your last war? No, no deal. Your expertise in my neighbor and manpower will be invaluable. Heck yeah, come on in, guys. Thank you to whoever recommended this route. This is really cool. Mm. We absolutely need support anti-air. Absolutely. I would like to throw a mobile artillery. We might have the trucks for it. We don't. We actually have the artillery for it too. It lowers organization, but does deliver us 42 more soft attack. So... Fighting the hills and mountains is going to be worse for us, but just a little bit more. But that gives us 126 more soft attack. And more breakthrough, too. We're more mobile with artillery. Now, what are we lacking? Anti air, that's fine. We need more steel, unfortunately. Trains are fine, do that. And then we need more planes. Oh, we took them off and did cast. Bomb locks. Ooh, which one would be better? Small bomb bay. Uh, just nothing but bomb locks. Let's see. Self healing, armor plates. Let's. Uh, yeah. There we go. Give some cast too. Could use more steel. We could use a lot of things. Uh, we'll trade with these guys though. Yeah, it's looking alright. Just in case. Boop. You never know. Why he's gone. It's fine. Didn't really care about them. Ah, with the cast, yes. Good. Oh, wait, do you have... Oh, you might have some old stuff there. This human, yeah. 
I think it will be okay in this war. I could be wrong. Uh, reviving the Afghan Air Force, although we had an Air Force of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan since Habib Abdullah's reign during the early 20s. The few biplanes and other Great War relics we did have were mostly destroyed in the conflicts against the British during the Anglo Afghan Wars. The Afghan Air Force must be revived from the ashes and centers it currently finds itself in, for we must take to the skies in order to defend our home. This really holds on. Osman Fouad rides out again. 800 years of glory. Oh, going down here is probably honestly better. Get even more. Oh, we get cores in Iraq. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, we need to race down that way. Screw this other stuff we're doing. Uh, what can we go to war with? Oh, Nepal, yeah. Oh, we can just go, go to war with Madras. Oh, that's nice. Bhutan is an ally with anybody. Nepal, unfortunately, is. Let's go to war with these guys first and then see what we can do. I guess we're going to go to Southern first and then try to unite everybody else here. Good. Good, good, good. Second American Republic to go on the Black Bolt. What? Oh, 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 hold on. Bro. I've already been demonetized on my other channel. I didn't even realize they changed their flag. That's freaking wild. Oh, man. Oh, I love this. Anyways, oh, you can hear that from me. That literally just has a triple K on there. That's, and they're actually doing really well. They, holy crap. That's kind of insane. I only have a score of 72. Well, I'll take what we can get. Boop. Thank you. No, we took what we could get, you know. Oh, we got two capital ships? We have a small task force, yay! Nice, good stuff, good stuff. Demobilize the economy. Why would we do that? Sixty days, well I guess we'll go with you guys next time. Hmm. Issues. Oh, that's gonna build that. Three weeks, that's not bad. Ooh. Things are looking up for us. I don't think this should be an issue, but I could be wrong. The warrior prince's arrival. After the abdication of Abdul II, the rightful sultan, uh, Osman Fuad has nearly escaped death and finally made his way to the mountains of Kurdistan. Uh, from here, the warrior prince has begun to lay out his plans for the restoration of the Ottoman Empire. He will join, we will join the rightful sultan in reclaiming what was stolen by the Egyptians and the perfidious allies, and then scuttle the Ottoman navy. Despite their near possible odds, a small contingent of the Ottoman fleets outmaneuvered the Egyptian navy and found their way to our ports. The Ottoman navy was a force of strength for the empire, but now lacks the homeland. With the ports secured, an economy ultimately incapable of supporting such a large fleet will scuttle the ships to prevent them from falling into the wrong hands. Oh wow. Nice, right, good stuff. We could get up to unite Russia. Rather than the Democratic Republic. Good job. Uh, social liberals, even though your national populace are getting bigger every day, maybe? Maybe not. Yeah, that's your industrialized, I guess. Cold War. Ah. Yeah, it's Cold War for now. I have a feeling Ukraine is going to be the triggering thing, though. You know, just, just feeling it. Ah. Xenocles, Radic, Socialist, Totalists. Unfinished land reforms, yeah. Wow. There you go. Well, let's see what happens first. They're probably going to attack us, and I'll see what happens. Do okay against them, maybe? Definitely here. Let's 
Nope, and the Russians are back at it. I know we won't be able to do very well up here, but down here, definitely. Oh, yeah. Their military's just crumbling at this point. At least, everywhere but Madras itself. Keep up the pressure. You don't let them move, they can't recover. Look at that. How many thousands of men are going to die for no reason? <coughs> Beautiful. Great. Um, well, you probably have time for this one. Who's this? Trans How many more days we gotta wait? 15? It's not terrible, I guess. Uh, more planes, and then... More planes. And more aluminum, yeah. Good. Oh, they sent another piece of that fast? Holy cow. Ew. National populace against the Swedish Republic, huh? And we're going to go with Nasrullah holds on. Oh, Nasrullah to win. But well, I was making concessions with the Ottoman loyalists, Emir Nasrullah successfully lowered tensions with the exiles and stabilized a nation under joint government. Afghans and Ottomans both enjoy an equal role in the administration of the new empire. With this decision, the destinies of Afghanistan and the sublime port have become intertwined. Glory to the Emir and Sultan. You should have a button that says sub subjugate or submit or die. That's me, that's just me. There you go. I don't think it should be too bad. Embargo by the Empire of Japan, huh? Well, that sucks for them. Too bad, we don't care. Um, yeah, soft attack. More recon Rangers, who combo with in defense goes up. All Mountaineers, more breakthrough, which is nice for artillery ish. It's a, a support artillery. All Mountaineers get more breakthrough because it's more artillery. Actually, for these guys, usually I don't like Rangers on these guys, supposedly, because they're not, they don't give you as much benefit as they really should. Anti air and Rangers. Because of these guys, um, battalion modifiers add the listed stats multiplied by the number of target battalions in the division. So plus 3% more line artillery. That makes us hit even way harder. Radically harder. Gives you a little bit of reconnaissance and in, uh, initiative. Arts organization, but just barely. And actually, it's literally geared towards hills and mountains and ju even jungles. It's really nice. So I'd be a fool not to take that. Look at those guns we've got now. Nice. Even more cash. Darn, they had no navy. Eat great. Uh, yes. Oh, we have more duckyards. Uh, we should probably maybe build some subs. Oh. Well, I don't know why they did that. They're fighting in the Russian Republic, and I don't think they're really winning that well. Who's over here? Kuban people's... Oh, never mind. Hey, you tried. Um, we could, but we gotta do this one first. Boop, boop, boop. That's it. I'm worried that they'll form the join another faction. The Sultan of in Kabul, following the collapse of the Ottoman Empire and its holdings in Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, and the Middle East, it's come to our attention that the Sultan, along with the members of his cabinet and army, have arrived in Kabul. It was indeed remarkable that the Sultan survived the challenging conditions of the territories they had, trans had to transverse through to Afghanistan, were honored that he's chosen our country as a refuge. Nevertheless, some advisors to the Emir have raised concerns. It suggests that this initial temporary exile could potentially become permanent, safeguard the Emir's authority. They propose that measures be taken to prevent the Sultan from getting too much influence within Afghanistan should Osman's exiles attempt to do so. Hopefully your stay isn't too long, but welcome to Kabul. We will see. And we'll have to wait for that to go. Um, look east. Across the Wakhan Corridor lies the remains of the once formidable Chinese nation. Instability and corruption has left the nation to the devices of the Western powers and the rising sun across the pond. To revitalize Afghanistan's influence on the world stage and gather allies in our battle against foreign oppression, we'll look towards the east in China and forge diplomatic ties with these emergent nations.
What's wrong with these guys? Oh, Muhammad Gandhi. Muhammad Gandhi? Why did I say Muhammad? Can I add a little radar here? Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Share for now. Upgrade what we have already. Ivan administration asks for government roles. Ever since the arrival of Ivan exiles in Afghanistan, a considerable number of individuals from the General Assembly who made it to Kabul have approached the seeking positions within the current government. While their abilities and contributions will be welcomed instead of remaining idle, their concerns that they are granted influential roles, a shift and balance of power might favor the exiles and potentially jeopardize their autonomy. It's supposed to be guests. We welcome their skills. Federation of Crimean Peoples. Well, that doesn't surprise anybody, probably. That's machine tool is nice. Um, I want to grab this, but I'll start maybe putting some of this, perhaps. Ah. <coughs> so and so asks, can you uh, conquer the subcontinent as Ottoman Afghan Empire? Yeah, probably. Ottomans and Afghans rule together. Ever since the exiles from the Sublime Power have stepped the foot in, um, in Afghanistan, um, whom are welcomed with open arms by the Emir. The relationship between the Emir and the Ottoman exile has been a long and complicated one, as contradictions and conflicts have reared its head throughout the exile state. Despite that, through, through wise political juggling and a maneuver performed by both the dual administrations, it appears that a possible compromise that satisfies both parties has been reached. With that end, a joint government was agreed upon between the exiles and our current administration, fusing into a proper Afghan Ottoman government, forging a unique bond like no other, seeking to restore glories of the past. Long live the Emir and the Sultan! Now, Shrula holds on. As he should. Replacing what was lost. That wouldn't be bad. Um, but now we're coming back down here. Whee. 800 years of glory. The Ottoman Empire had its highs and lows, but it will never truly fall until every last drop of Turkish blood is strewn across the fields of battle. This blind poor has stood since the 13th century, and will stand resilient until the 23rd century. Let us embark on a righteous mission to save our empire from the designs of those who sought to destroy us. Never again shall we fail to, or fall to insurrection and foreign invasion. Oh, yeah. Tribal militia. Yeah, not bad. The Mughal Ottoman Empire. Look at that. Fantastic. I love to get claims of cords in that group, but whatever. That shouldn't be too bad. Oh, whoops. Well, that was stupid of me. I've got to do this too. In the town and basin, with the fall of the Jing, Jing hegemony in China, the western province of Xinjiang has fallen into a state of civil war. For centuries, our Muslim brothers in this region have been subject to Chinese colonialism. Well supported brothers in the righteous struggle to reverse nearly three centuries of our oppression. It's only a few centuries. <clears throat> and then pave the way home. In order to return to our homeland in Anatolia, we must first traverse the rugged Zagros Mountains and Persia. Luckily for us, the Persians in their tenuous alliance with Egypt is already showing cracks. We'll follow in the legacy of the great Sultan Murad III and once again bring the Persian Empire to its knees. Well, we got some bigger goals first, and besides, Persia's already dead. We already did our jobs. At least in that regard. I'm not sure why they even fought. Like, there's literally no point for them to fight there. Great. Good. Oh, there goes Transcaucasia. Uh, very nice. What are we lacking? Nothing. Except more planes, of course. Paris against Moscow. Oh, it looks like there's uh, another war brewing. Great, great, great. Rangers. Would that even be worth doing on a cavalry? Uh... Now, actually, more soft attack is actually really nice. Would it make it a special forces division? I just get support artillery for now. Oh, that's not good. Oh, God dang it, guys. Alright, 
So now, boop, 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 boop. <clears throat> they definitely have more divisions than us, but healthy division for division, we're better. Well, I would hope so, but you never know. We do have planes, but they probably have a few planes themselves as well. The main goal is to hold for the most part um, until we can reinforce our lines. Put more divisions. 800 years of glory. We paid the way home, which we already started. Seize Levant. Ooh. Buyer in Cairo. Seize the Caucasus. Oh man, we're gonna put it, be put in a war with Russia, aren't we? How's Armenia looking? Some Eurasian bloc. Well, either we go to war with the Third International or we go to war with the Eurasian bloc. I think I'm gonna go to war with the, war with the Iraq first. Seize Levant. The Levant has always been an important part of both the Sultanate and the Islamic world. The historic city of Baghdad was once the capital of Islamic science and culture, and to this day, it remains a crucial point for global trade. More recently, the rich oil deposits in this region have caught the attention of global powers of the Iraq Spec and the Entente. Must restart our control before any foreign power takes the oil fields for themselves. And get free cores on that. That is fantastic. Uh, we're going to do that. We're going to do that and that as well. And just in case, I know supply is going to be god awful. Oh my god. Through here. Go there. And go to there to there. Just in case, I'm going to actually build up a thing here. Boop to boop. There you go. So they're not ready. Oh, see, I knew they'd attack us like crazy. Ooh, please don't lose there. Losses. 30,000. I love artillery. Yeah. Turkish Communion is gone. Good. Oh my god, they're getting slaughtered. Oh, throwing on that artillery. Just so good. Rocket artillery. We have only 29 spare units, but that's alright. You know, just in case. Let's throw some heroism. There's Albania. My god, 100,000 have already died. Love it. Man's gonna make both sides weaker. Which is great. Russia's doing really well in Anatolia. Um, really, really well. Ukraine is falling. They're in a national. Better get their act together. Um, uh, go back to these guys potentially. See, that's why you know the first two episodes we really didn't do didn't do do very much, but it was all for this in the end. You know. Oh my God. Losses like crazy as we pay for way. I mean, obviously it doesn't matter. They have infinite manpower, but they had infantry equipment already, which is great. Uh, make more and then make more and then uh, we need to catch up with everyone else. So make more guns and then make more here too. Thank you, Russian Republican. Totally take that for ourselves. Goodbye. I want them to attack us one at least one more time before we try to attack them. Beautiful. This might go very poorly, but we'll see. <coughs> but I'm all out of coffee. I live on caffeine. Literally, just caffeine. All right, y'all. You've had it long enough. The other cipher's broken. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we can do well here. Doing a little bit of damage, you know. We got to start somewhere. Hmm. Oh, even more organization for Mountaineers? Yes, please. And we're just not rolling on in, but we're, we're getting there. Beautiful. Good. Good. Ah. Vision's dying like crazy. Love it. Very nice. And then what? Fire in Cairo? The Egyptians so foolishly believed that they and the lackeys in their axis had brought an end to the Ottoman Empire. Now they can only hide in fear beyond the Suez Canal, watching as their former allies in Persia and Levant feel like fall like dominoes to righteous armies. 
Cairo's seen independence for too long. It must now feel the iron fist of the Empire as we return to our former glory. Oh, yes, please. We don't have a lot of divisions, but my god, they're going to be good. Whatever we do have. Turning Calcutta into a frontline city? Oh, yes, please. Cavalry rides again. Oh, look at all the divisions trapped. They even have mechanized in there, it looks like. We have one mechanized unit. Not strong at all, but whatever. Here. Daka. Oh, look at this. This is just destructive. 600,000 have lost their lives so far. Oh, completely in circle now. <clears throat> 40 divisions were trapped here in total, probably. Oh my god. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that is... Gandhi. Do better. Wow. Oh, we came to play. They obviously did not. Uh, are we missing anything here now? More chaos? Okay. More chaos. More of these, just in case. Maybe more of that, too. Iraq, I hope you're ready for some fun times, Iraq. How's oh, supply going? Going very well. It looks like, yeah. We bought the supply place. Not bad, not bad. It's getting better overall. I love it. We're doing so well, it's not funny. Look at all this part of India. We've united the subcontinent. Oh, well, for the most part. Just a scheme and whatnot to go, but whatever. Ah, I gotta research the subs. It's already 1942. Actually, you know what? It's probably a terrible idea. Are you guys in, still in the Entente? No, you're not. Good to know. Ah. Third International, please. Now, of course, once you find it, start fighting more on core territory, you might do a little better, maybe. Oh, the Third is doing better, though, in Greece. Uh -oh. As the Afghan nation so stabilizes itself on the foreign war and devastation, it is crucial that we begin to shift our focus outwards and solidify our position on the world stage. The future belongs to those with the strength to seize it, and the Afghan people will choose a path leading to their empowerment. Absolutely. Let's go ahead. Just throttle them as hard as you can. Boop. Good, nice. Oop. I mean, Federation's gone. Serbia's doing the Entente. Good. Oh, that was what gave us so many consumer goods factors. Ah. Second Russo Japanese War. Ooh, that is bad for them. Go. Maneuver faster. We're getting the gang back together, everybody. 252 factories. While well, everyone's killing themselves in Europe and other parts of Asia, they're not realizing the power that's being built down here. Oh! We actually have a battleship now. Look at that. That is fantastic. Fire in Cairo. We're claiming the birthright. We can no longer delay as an illegitimate government continues to fester in our homeland. And until it's within a grasp and must be taken over at the utmost opportunity, our arms will drive these traditional rifle lands and restore Ottoman rule. Yeah. We still have a tribal military. That's kind of wild. Um, scale the Caucasus. The indomitable mountains of the Caucasus has long been an important region for the Sublime Port. This diverse mountain range is home to both our close allies in Azerbaijan and our historic foes in Armenia and Georgia. A campaign in this region may seem daunting, but beyond the mountain lies vast deposits of oil and the largest exporters of grain in Europe. No. Absolutely not. Infantry, you know what? I'm going to go with Ambusher because they're actually really good in defense. Even though I guess Ambusher would probably have been better since we're just being really offensive anyways. But, yeah, being on the defense is still not bad. And gives us more time to just flood Iraq with our soldiers. Rather than like an Iraqi flood. Yeah. Um, maybe? Just in case? I'll find another exporter soon. Good job, Nepal. It's all coming together. 
Why would you look at that? Fantastic. Is it not connected? Uh, oh! I see. Time division. Okay. I don't think Iraq is going to be the problem. Syria, on the other hand. Oh, are they fighting the Russian Republic too? Yes, they are fighting the Entente, looks like. It's a little different. But we're going to take everything away from them anyways, so it's fine. Looking pretty good. We have a lot of territory to cover, and a lot of garrisons probably would have to garrison, but still. That's a non-aggression pack. Well, what's wrong with you? They don't like us anymore. What, what, we didn't do anything wrong with you. Well, Switzerland still likes us, hopefully. Thank you, Switzerland. Until you get taken over, of course. Um, more soft attack. Special forces attack. Capacity multiplier, plus 20%. Turning time. Honestly, we're not using Marines or Paratroopers, so I'll go back one of the Armed Forces for this one. It'll be fine, yeah. You're still guaranteed, right? Yeah. Egypt, Arabia, Syria. Scale the Caucasus. Top of the bear. Fast Caucasus Mountains, lies are mortal enemy of the Russian adversary. Are cent for centuries, our two empires fought for supremacy over the Black Sea and the Caucasus. The Russian bears always eyed our lands with hate and greed, and now we shall pay them back in kind by bringing devastation to the lands and driving them out of our domain once and for all. Oh no, whatever will we do against our embargoes? Oh no. We do have a little bit of aluminum, yeah. We don't extract very much, but we extract whatever we can from it. Crap, I keep forgetting about naval stuff. Except for this one. Happy 1942, everybody. Oh, we way more aluminum now. Just smash all the way through them. Nope. Go all the way into Libya. Are the sappers broken? I don't think so. No. This is literally our core territory, so I don't know why they think it was fair to do that to us. That's looking good. Um, planes. Thank you, Iraq. Welcome back. Now we're using cavalry to move through the deserts here. Smart. Let's get to Mecca. Yemen. Abu Dhabi. Yemen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. You got the Caucasus, top of the bear. Beautiful. And the radio. Ah. Pesky Russians. This fire is going to be pretty god awful through here, I'm sure. Pretty much what we figured. Jewish sister gone, good. Yeah. 
Get in there so we can capitulate him. Nice. Fighting in the Middle East freaking sucks, but whatever. The Russians are just not stopping. Oh no, the Russians are in the Entente. Ooh, interesting. They have their Eurasian bloc, then they join the Entente to fight these guys. That's... The Second American Republic is desperately trying to fight on and fight Mexico too. That's... God, this is a bloody conflict. Hashemat Arabia, good. We can get... Oh, there we go. Circle and destroy all these divisions immediately. Follow Batavia. Very good, very good. Get in there. They need your help. Good. Oh. That's very nice. Just in case we get there someday. Top of the bear is good. And then we'll come back to all these other ones that don't really matter as much. And the Tibetan Plateau. While they're not the brothers of the faith, the mountainous kingdom of the Himalayas are served as an important barrier against imperialist incursions into the eastern world. While bringing these hermit kingdoms, offer the mountainous isolation and offer support in the tenuous struggle for independence. Through our cooperation, we'll forge an alliance of different faiths and cultures, all united against foreign encroachment. Attack Armenia, attack the Russian Republic. Uh, extort a heroism, why not? Ah. Ah, they came back. Good job so far. You're doing a very, very good job. Casualties. 13,000. Not bad. We delivered 200,000 to the, those guys. That's nice. Let's take the Russians. Stop taking our test off. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Through there. We're trying to get to the Karsta Peninsula eventually. Ah, encirclement. Love it. Even more convoys. Ah, good. And just in case. Ground support, yes. Probably need an airbase here too. More of an airbase at the very least. Especially trying to break across the river. Ah, we've got Port Said. Love it. Beep. Awesome. Ah, you guys are done? Not really. All the peninsula belongs to us. And we already captured Giza. Love it. Um, some more fighters? I love Switzerland. Cast her down to China. While the foreign powers encroach on the sovereignty of China, the nation lies in a state of disarray. Corrupt warlords, foreign puppets, and drug pushers fight to the death while the Japanese and Western empires look hungrily in the lands of the Middle Kingdom. With a home front is secure, the Afghan nation will throw its support into the Chinese struggle and bring out a wealth worthy ally in the shared struggle against imperialism. Had it too good for too long. 
go in. That's why we let the cavalry do this too. I literally said we were going to get into Libya. So, and you know what? I was proven correct. But it's always great to be proven correct, you know? One, two, one, two. You're going to need to probably some supply through here or something. At the start of this episode, I don't think we'd end up going as far as we did, but you know, we did. It was great. I'm out here. If you take the port, I cannot reinforce. But if they try to reinforce, it might be met with some people here. Excavation, nice, good. Show about a slight bit of aluminum problems. Oh! Happy Eid, even though we literally don't even need that support to bet. Sure, to bet. Have some guns. Not sure who you're shooting yet, but have some guns. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. So I'm going to do this off screen, but if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. It's the best one so far in this campaign. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow. I also figure out who we're going to attack next. Probably the Russian Republic. Thanks for watching, and have a tremendous rest of your day.